Hello everyone, it's me once again. It's been more than a week since I bought this Casio uh, WSD F20 Pro Trek, and I just want to share my review on this based on using it under the Apple Watch, the iOS. So uh, to be able to use this under the, um, because this is designed to be an Android Wear, so it you need a Android phone to use it, but the, the alternative would be that you download this app called Wear OS. So I have downloaded that. And um, the setup was pretty easy, easy, I have to say. If you just press there, you just set up a new watch, and then it will automatically detect your watch as long as you turn this on and you have the Bluetooth on. So the text will appear here. So you synchronize it. It was very easy. So no problem with that. Initially, a lot of things were not working so I had to restart the watch it needed a few updates and then it seems to get better and better and better and I still think it's getting better because when I looked at the notification I get initially I only had few about six or seven notification but the list now because the Wear OS app itself was updating few times during this week as well the the notification seems to increase much, way more and um, without asking me that is but it's it seems it's getting smarter which is very good um, and there are a few disappointment that I wanted to share with you but before that I do like I, my eyes do get used to the size this being on my wrist it's very nice a few people have actually complimented that it looks quite cool um, and so on. I do like the color of this orange with the black and, and so on. So, well, actually, one of the things I do want to highlight is that rather than a gimmick of a smartwatch, you, you always have this hope, great expectation that it will do everything for you. But I, after using this smartwatch, I came to the conclusion that watch is a watch. It's supposed to do what it's supposed to do as a watch. One of the things that I realize biggest thing that I realize is that what which annoys me is that every single time when this sensor on the Apple Watch you it gets away from your wrist, you have to always type in your uh, passcode to be able to use the Apple Watch. In the, you, you kind of think like initially, wow, that's very cool, but I mean, to be honest with you, who's who's actually going to nick your watch anyway? You always have it most of the time, so. I actually find it joyful that this phone, this sorry, this smartwatch doesn't actually have that automatic lock uh, system. I think you can set it up, but I just I'm happy the way how it is that you just don't need to type in every single time the the password to be able to use this. Um, but there are a few craftsmanship that I was very disappointed with, despite it's called uh, it's actually made in Japan. Apparently, I would expect if something is made in Japan you would expect a very high quality of craftsmanship. But let me show you what's going on here. So if I just turn this on, you see the Casio, there you go. Cool. Um, so you will see that this right hand side of a reading is actually slightly uh, not in the right place while the other ones, you can see that, can you see that rotating bit? So that seems to be all in good position but this one is slightly downwards somehow um, I don't know whether it's only this smartwatch that I bought is having this problem or the rest of you actually experience the same thing but um, okay so let's sh let me show you the other side of it so you can see that reading there it is not really in line with that orange uh, bit there anyway so that's <clears throat> one of the defects I actually found whether it was delivered or not, let me know. And the other thing is this, can you see that tip over there? You can see that someone just cut it and not with a very nice craftsmanship there. There's a slice there and another slice there. I think that could be a deliberate one, but that one doesn't seem to be a deliberate. Someone just carelessly just cut that bit and then attached to it. So this is one of the reasons why I don't like rubber bands, but um, there you go. Anyway, it's a smart watch. How long you expect it to use it? I don't know, about three or four years max. So don't spend too much time on, too much time and money on smart watch. I would say um, I do like this um, 
display it has all these information I want which is that um, you know two other countries time temperature and um, <clears throat> date sunrise battery life how many steps and distance I walked and, and so on that's why I'm having this as my default that I default display and um, as you can see now it's con constantly changing its display because it's not the full this um, display function at the moment is a bit of a saver mode battery saver mode but um, if you go on to display the clever thing about this device is that if you put on to always on screen function it does reduce battery life but what you get from here it's quite cool actually so initially you get this but a few seconds later you get a less battery consuming display so there it is. Um, actually, that that it is. So, you know, you you just want to show off. It's like wow, you know, it looks much different. It's visually pleasing, but it does consume a lot of battery. So let's say if I pick this up fully charged and pick this up hundred percent when I come back home about oh, sorry, pick this up about six or seven o'clock in the morning, and then when I come back home about five or six o'clock in the evening. The battery remaining will be about 40 to 30 percent which is very disappointing um, but if I were to change this display to the um, batch let's say where is it not always on screen the battery seems to be lasting much longer so if I were to have this on at um, six or seven o'clock in the morning and come back about five or six o'clock in the evening I will still have about 70 Five seventy-four percent, but the display. I'm not really happy with this digit. But then again, you have to either choose one of them. Um, two things I was hugely disappointed when I bought this is that somehow randomly I thought I found somewhere in the website that, uh, re regards to review on this product, is that it has a contactless payment function to it. The NFC card somewhere hidden inside. I mean, it's big, so I, I would be very surprised if they can't insert that. But apparently it doesn't have a contactless payment Google Pay function to it, which was a huge disappointment because I could I, I was hoping that I could use this for contactless payment for commuting to work to central London every day. It doesn't have that. Number two is that uh, the navigation system, which is when you press here, um, it doesn't seem to be able to guide you to place A to B, but it only seems to record where you've been. So um, let's say if you if I was lost in the middle of the wood, then I could zoom in and then I could just go reverse to where I came from at the moment, but it doesn't navigate me to where I want to go. Um, I don't know whether it's because mine is connected to the Apple Watch um, or maybe it's designed it's the way this is how it's designed it to be. So if you're using Google, Android watch if you can let me know if it's different different to what I have in other words Does it only track where you've been and it doesn't guide you to where you want to go? Um, please do let me know. I mean, that's how it is for when I'm connected to my iOS um, And so on so I think that summarized my experience so far well, you know some people spend thousands ten thousands in a luxury watch But that's for the show off like a jewelry kind of function this one initially I thought why did I spend 400 pounds on a very you know rather expensive money for a watch for a digital watch, but then again um, I'm quite pleased with the design a few people around me actually thought it, it looks very cool the coloring of the black and the orange I'm very happy with it every single time I look at it um, and it functions like a watch how you expect it to be it's not like a gimmick where you know the Apple watch my experience as I said was it gives you all this hope but you you don't you end up not using most of them because it has so much function and there's a lot of delay based on my experience while as this one if you want to use it as a GPS uh, outdoor activity I can easily see that it actually does its job properly and that's what's what what I like about but as I said there are few um, you know craftsmanship seems to be very disappointing despite it's known to be made from Japan so I hope 
that sort of clarified my experience so far if you have any queries please let me know and thank you very much for watching this video this is love jesus please bye